Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 527, and after yesterday, where the channel hit 1,976 subscribers, I saw that number, and it reminded me of the American Bicentennial, and I thought, what a better quiz category than pivotal dates in American history. So here are 21 questions about important dates in the history of this country. Good luck. Question one. With the war won, independence secured, and the Articles of Confederation proving inadequate, the Founding Fathers signed the new Constitution into law on September 17, 1787. What are the first three words of the U.S. Constitution? The answer is we the people. Question two. More than any other single event, the sinking of what unarmed British ocean liner by a German submarine on May 7, 1915, killing among others 128 Americans, prompted the U.S. to join World War I on the side of the Allies. That ocean liner was the Lusitania. Question 3. The Roaring Twenties era ended in October of 1929 when the stock market crashed, setting the stage for years of economic deprivation and calamity known as the Great Depression. Who was the U.S. President at the time? The answer is Herbert Hoover. Question four. The first film in the biggest film franchise in the world was simply titled Star Wars and came out in American theaters on May 25th, 1977. With the release of the prequels, it became the fourth film chronologically and its title was later changed to what? The answer is Episode 4, A New Hope. Question 5. After the federal government imposed a tax on alcohol, there was a four-year-long protest by citizens who refused to pay the tax. U.S. President George Washington sent troops to western Pennsylvania in 1794 to quell the uprising, now known as the what? That was called the Whiskey Rebellion. Question six. What American pharmacist and Confederate States Army veteran is best known for the May of 1886 invention of Coca-Cola, now the biggest and most recognized soda pop and beverage company in the world? His name was John Pemberton. Question 7. Dedicated on October 28, 1886, the Statue of Liberty is a sculpture on Liberty Island in New York Harbor, designed by French sculptor Frederick Auguste Bartholdi and built by Gustav Eiffel. The statue is a figure of what robed Roman goddess? The answer is Libertas. Question 8. On March 12, 1933, Franklin Roosevelt gave the first in a long series of straightforward informal radio addresses, known as the What, which were initially intended to garner support for his New Deal economic relief program. They were known as the Fireside Chats. Question 9. April 21, 1992, 
on the Liberty Records label, what musical artist released his album American Patriot with songs like Dixie, The Great Defenders, and God Bless the USA, which have been popularly used for multiple American events ever since. His name is Lee Greenwood. Question 10. The Louisiana Purchase was the acquisition of the territory of Louisiana by the United States from France in 1803. Who was the U.S. President at the time of the purchase that acquired a total of 828,000 square miles in the deal? The answer is Thomas Jefferson. Question 11. The Home Insurance Building, built in 1885 and located on the corner of Adams and LaSalle Streets in what populous American city, goes down in the history books as the world's first modern skyscraper? That city is Chicago, Illinois. Question 12. Now one of the largest and most viewed annual sporting events in the world, the very first Super Bowl was played on January 15, 1967 at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum and pitted what two teams against each other? The answer is the Green Bay Packers and Kansas City Chiefs. Question 13. In August of 1945, with the war in Europe over and U.S. forces advancing in Japan, U.S. President Harry S. Truman ushered in the nuclear era by choosing to drop atomic bombs on what two Japanese cities? The answer is Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Question 14. On January 9, 2007, what American CEO introduced the first iPhone to the world at the Macworld convention and was responsible for its release to the public later that year on June 29th of 2007? The answer is Steve Jobs. Question 15. Signed on February 2nd, 1848, what was the name of the treaty that brought to close the Mexican-American War and added 525,000 square miles of formerly Mexican land to the western part of the U.S. territory? The answer is the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. Question 16. In 1950, Ralph Schneider and Frank McNamara produced the first general purpose charge card and required the entire bill to be paid with each statement. What was the name of this first type of credit card? The answer is the Diners Club. Question 17. On December 17, 1903, Orville Wright made the first flight ever in a powered airplane by flying 120 feet in 12 seconds at a speed of only 6.8 miles per hour at about 10 feet above the ground outside what North Carolina town? The answer is Kitty Hawk. Question 18. 
Ending with Richard Nixon becoming the first U.S. president to resign the office, what was the name of the scandal and the building complex where the break-in at the Democratic National Committee headquarters occurred in June of 1972? That was known as Watergate. Question 19. The first steps by humans on another planetary body were taken by Americans Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on July 20th, 1969. What was the name of the space flight that was the first manned mission to land on the moon? The answer is Apollo 11. And question 20. In July of 1863, Robert E. Lee's invading army sustained a defeat so devastating that it sealed the fate of the Confederacy. What was the name of this Pennsylvanian battle that proved to be a major turning point in the U.S. Civil War? The answer is the Battle of Gettysburg. All right, that is it. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. It has been a really good week of trivia. You guys really seem to like the two novels uh, trivia quiz. So I'll probably do a third one of that. Maybe not next week, but maybe the week after. Tomorrow will be the new Trebek Trivia. That is another one that is consistently popular. We do it every Friday. It's 21 questions from the television show Jeopardy. The questions are altered slightly, but all the questions and answers actually come from the television show. Which is nice because rather than one specific category like pivotal dates in American history, it's a broad variety of questions from several different categories, so it's a real general knowledge type trivia quiz. If you enjoy those, check back tomorrow for Trebek Trivia and every other Friday. And I hope you're having a good week. Here is question 21, the tiebreaker for this evening. Becoming one of the biggest figures in entertainment in the 20th century, on October 1st, 1962, what man took over for Jack Parr as host of the American late night talk program, The Tonight Show, and would hold that position for over three decades? His name is Johnny Carson. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.